they assumed that you, he doesn't need to go to work because you could be a sugar mama. <laughs> I'll let you answer that. <laughs> He's not into social media. And then that kind of couples with someone said, um, he hates that you film everything. This next one is funny. Um, you guys have a bomb sex life. <laughs> um, there was another question here too that said that your energy wasn't good on vlogs and they perceive you as a rude person, so I think I'll clump that in. Nick was a douche, but he's actually very sweet and kind of just reserved. I love you. Your daddy was a whore. All right. I know, There's. I got a new little light. It's kind of gloomy today. Um, we, <laughs> like two seconds ago, Nick was like putting these flowers up here and I, we just put this like, this new thing together. If you watch my Instagram stories, you've seen the new, uh, what are they called? Con console tables? Yeah, something like that. Console, console tables Cabinet. behind the couch, cabinets. Um, and so he's just like putting them there. I'm like, are you decorating for the video? And then he went into this whole thing about how we move this here for whatever. And then well, I was moving That's attached. the thing. I know, but it was in your face. I, <laughs> Thank I, you. The one thing she always grabs, because it's right there, so I was like, oh, I'll put it here. And then I was like, oh, I can't just have one thing there. So I bought I'm him like, flowers for um, passing, passing his, test. he passed his engineer's test. Well, um, the first portion of it. The first so portion of it. Yourself, but. You're going to hear Harlow. She's cruising around in the background here. Um, I put super simple songs on her on the TV on mute. So hopefully she's good with that. But. We thought we would sit down and do just like a casual um, assumptions about us, kind of Q&A situation. <laughs> you know what happens when you make assumptions. Yes. Makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> a lot of these are interesting though, because a lot of them are actually kind of right, and then some of them are just way off base. I said that wrong. You know what happens when you assume makes an ass out of you and me. Well, yeah, but I, I was picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. Um, so this is not a flattering angle for me to just be like laying back like this, but, um, so I've got the assumptions slash questions on my phone. Um, most of these are about you, which is kind of funny. Some of them are about us, us as parents. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna hang out and answer these. Um, so number one, um, they assumed that you, he doesn't need to go to work because you could be a sugar mama. <laughs> I'll let you answer that. <laughs> I don't get, is that a question? It's an assumption. Oh. No, I need to work. I could be your sugar mama though. You probably could. Like you don't, I kind of already am actually. You don't, you. That would be weird. Like if you me. didn't work, we'd be, everything would be the same. The fuck would I do? Well, I don't mean, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking financially. Yeah, he has to work. There's actually another question about that and they're so spot on. Um, but yeah, he's always, he, he takes a lot of pride in his work. He's not just a fireman to be a fireman. Hi, Jessica. Well, I'm really just doing it to put the sticker on the back of my truck. I was really. <laughs> and to put the fireman um, uh, helmet like, on in your dating profile. profile. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But now that I guess I got that, I could probably, yeah, no, I, I didn't really think about it till now, but yeah, I could probably quit. <laughs> what, am I, what am I doing? <laughs> The assumption is about me that I'm in charge of the relationship. I would say that we both wear the pants in different ways. What? what? Say Jessica. hi to the cat. Jessica's trying to drink your whiskey drink. Yeah. Um, what would you say? I would say I'm not in charge of the relationship. I would say in certain, I think we both are our strong suits. Why are you smiling so big? We were talking. What? We were talking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Harlow, did I scare you with that squawk? Hi, baby. I'm not, I would say with certain things and then other things like I let you take the lead on. Yeah, well, what I was saying to everybody was, I'm in charge, I'm in charge. I'm gonna see what you did when I did <laughs> this. So the next one is Nick is overwhelmed with your lifestyle. I think you're overwhelmed with my lifestyle. Would it, how would I be overwhelmed with your lifestyle? Um, <clears throat> like that I with film the glamour every, and the glitz. Yeah, I film everything. My lifestyle is a lot different than it was before because, like, I would say like four years ago, I was going to like a lot of events in LA, um, getting invited on brand trips. So life has slowed down a lot for me. But I, 
I, you were overwhelmed with like the types of places I would go to eat dinner. Not that I can't like eat a shitty hole in the wall taco shop, but you know, you were kind of saying like you were trying to keep up with me in the beginning because I would like to go to expensive resorts and like expensive dinners. There's definitely stuff. aspects where I think like <clears throat> we comes up very frequently with like the house stuff. Like I could live in a paper box and yeah. that doesn't work for you. <laughs> like I could live with like five kids in a paper box and be like, make it work. But I need a lot of stuff. I don't need a lot. Um, yeah, true. Um, cardboard box, paper box, paper bag. I say I get lost in a cardboard box, like about yeah, directions. You can't make a paper box. That'd be really hard to make. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> um, actually mm -hmm. takeout comes in. Carlos cooking. <laughs> you go girl, turn that oven on high. Good job. <laughs> He's not into social media. And then that kind of couples with someone said, um, he hates that you film everything. I think there's certain times where I'm like, I'm definitely like, enjoy the moment. Like when everybody else, I feel like, I feel like this is life, not necessarily you, but I feel like when I'm at a concert and everybody has their phone out and they're filming, I'll kind of want to punch every one of them in the face. Like <laughs> enjoy what you're doing. Like stop filming and showing everybody. Like we don't need to like make a spectacle. Like if you're really enjoying something, you don't need to tell everybody. Like, and you do film stuff, but that's like what you do and that's fine. I just, um, I can enjoy things without telling all my friends. Yeah. I don't know. Or people I don't care about. I would say like if I <clears throat> didn't do social media like for a living, I don't think I would really be on it much. Um, because on my personal, my Finsta, my personal Instagram, I don't really post a whole lot. Like I post maybe twice a month, if that, and then I rarely post on my Instagram stories. It's mostly a lot of bullshit and memes. Um, I do feel like there is times where I'm like, I'm like, oh babe, did you see that? Like, I don't know, Tony and his wife went here and you're like, oh no way they did. Like, cause I saw it on the gram. He scrolls on Instagram a lot, but he, but your, pa your page is private. You only accept people that you know, and you like had only posted on your Instagram story like once when like in the past, three and a half years since I've yeah. known you. He like didn't even know how to do it. No, I still don't. I, don't. <laughs> I actually love that about him. I not, I was never into dudes that were like into like social media a lot, um, which is kind of ironic given my ex-husband, but. Um, you were married before? <laughs> so much baggage. Why were you gonna tell me that? <laughs> Her laugh is like Beavis and Butthead. She <laughs> thinks I'm funny. Harlow? Hello, Harlow. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's directed at me. It says, you are, uh, you love luxury makeup secretly. No, I actually don't. Um, so luxury makeup typically tests on animals, like a lot of, like the YSL and all that kind of stuff. They all test on animals for the most part. And I like cheap, but good makeup. And also mid range I can do. Like when the Natasha Denona palette was out and it was like $80, I just like, I couldn't believe that people were spending that on a palette. Yeah. Hi, Arlo. Tell us more. <laughs> she was like loving cruising around. Um, yeah, so I, I would say Arlo. not really. Um, yeah, not really a fan of luxury makeup. I've also never really tried it because I, when I was younger and didn't use cruelty for makeup, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> And now that I can't afford it, I'm not interested because I just, I've used so much like cheaper makeup, drugstore makeup that's like actually really good. I thought it would be really fun if you did my makeup in a video. Like I'll just give you like a tray of, like this trend was like years ago where like my husband does my makeup, but I think that'd be awesome if you did it because I think I would look insane. Like I just picture this intro of me like with my makeup and my brows, how I do them or whatever, like thinking I look all good. And then like, I can't snap with this finger. <laughs> then switch to like, you do when it, I like, did stain our shelves and paint some of the house, like I can handle that. What are you gonna use a paint roller on my face? Oh my god, a couple spots, will ya? <laughs> the next assumption, you two work really hard and are motivated. <clears throat> I would say that's true. I think you're probably one of the hardest working people I've ever met. Hmm. Thanks. Yeah, I would oh. agree. <clears throat> that's, when you, that's when you say, oh, you too. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I'm definitely super motivated. No. <laughs> <laughs> you were done. That was I, like, a, I don't know, what was that like? Right when we first met, I read that 
list of like things that I love about you, and that was mm. one of them is that you are super hardworking, super motivated, it's a super attractive quality. Thank you. <clears throat> love that, love that shit. Um, I asked him what his credit score was on like our first date, I think, so I definitely am into like hard workers and people that are motivated, and you're definitely all of those things. Which is another assumption here. Nick is super handy and can't ever just be sitting around relaxing, always has a project. Yeah. Is that you to a T or what? <laughs> yeah, even you know, huh? Yeah, that's a silly, <laughs> silly goose thing. Um, this is the longest I think I've sat on the couch all week. Yeah. I've been off work. <laughs> yeah, even when he's sick, like I cannot get him to just sit down and relax. It's always like he's always doing something. This next one is funny. Um, you guys have a bomb sex life. <laughs> I would say. I feel like it went through, a, it's gone through <laughs> phases with Harlow and can't have sex after the baby and then. Yeah, it, we're navigating a new um, lifestyle having a baby. So we, I would say it went like in the very beginning, I would say it was, it was pretty on fire. And not that it isn't still, but there are less opportunities now before like with your schedule with the baby um yeah so definitely i think we do peaks and valleys yeah i think that's always how it is but i was actually um i found a new sex toy website and i wanted to buy some stuff um and then i lost it was on my phone and now i can't find it so i'll have to find it again but i would say so nick is a softy when it comes to harlow and dogs and now cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true yeah, I do. Very true. I do fucking love dogs. <laughs> I do fucking love Harlow. And now I'm the cat guy. So, um. As it turns out. Um, he chews Copenhagen. <laughs> that's, that's weird. That's in there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you literally have like a six pack of that in the truck that you just bought, I think. Um, the next one we finally get to say no to. Helicopter parents, both of y'all. We are not helicopter parents at all. I mean, if helicopter means that she's out there working on the gas powered equipment with me, is that what helicopter is? Let's go. Helicopter, helicopter parent gas. is more so like we're hovering over your kid to make sure they don't fall, to make sure they don't, oh, you know no. what I mean? We're not like that at all. She needs to fall. Yeah, I think it's good for her to smack her head a couple times. Yep. <clears throat> and I mean that in the most loving way, but like, both we want you, her to experience new things. Both you and I learn the hard way and learn doing things ourselves. Always have been very independent, and I'm sure she will be very similar. I think it's important that what is that? There's like a there's like a new. You can't fit through that doorway in the walker suite. It's not a new saying, but there's like a saying about. I remember seeing it on. It was on social media, but it was some speaker that was like. It's killing me. I can't remember. It basically calculated risk. Like you can do unsafe thing, you can do risky things safely. And it's important for kids to learn to to learn and to do risky things safely. Like you can ride a bike, but I'm not gonna put you on a bike on Interstate 5 and tell you to go like wear a helmet, learn in our neighborhood and not on learn a hill. in our driveway, not ride down a hill. Yeah. Like you should definitely learn to ride down that hill sometime because that's gonna be super <laughs> sick, but like, I'm not gonna make you do it. I'm not gonna make you do it. I'm gonna let you do it. I'm gonna coax you into it. And I'm gonna encourage you to do it, but I'm also gonna give you a bike with brakes because it would be really stupid not- And give you a decision. Yeah, I think there's calculated risk and I think you need to allow a little bit of leeway to have learn stuff. I would say like, if anything, we're pretty laid back parents. Like we like let her do her thing and, she needs to learn. She needs to learn. So, yeah. Nick doesn't like being filmed. Nick is the introvert and you are the extrovert. Um, there was another question here too that said that your energy wasn't good on vlogs and they perceive you as a rude person. So I think I'll clump that in. I would say that could be, couldn't be further from the truth. I think in the beginning, you were really awkward being filmed because it's not something you had ever done or like experienced. Like he had never... You've never dated a YouTuber or someone that like films things. So I think you were just kind of like awkward and like wanted to keep your mouth shut so you could say very, something offensive or something. I'm also very dry. Yeah. <clears throat> and I do say a lot of very offensive things. And so I kind of do <laughs> have to- It's not PC over here. I, I gotta, sometimes I gotta reel it in yeah. a little bit. Because- People are sensitive. Yeah, people are sensitive. And 
I, it's not that I'm. I don't know, just call it like I see it. Like, uh, yeah. Call a spade a spade, but some people can't handle that, and that's difficult. Which. Yeah. And I wouldn't say that you enjoy being filmed. You just are kind of here for the ride and taking one for the team. I think there's times when we're doing things when I'm like, I could do this without being filmed. <laughs> but like, I don't mind sitting here and answering some questions and hanging out and supporting my wife and mm. what she does. Nick was a douche, but he's actually very sweet and kind of just reserved. <laughs> and then- I, I then, wouldn't say reserved, but I, I was a douche. And uh, I still have a little bit of that, I'm sure. I think my gums are bleeding. I can taste it. Um, and I would actually say that I'm more of the introvert 100%. and you're more of the extrovert. Yeah. Like I am outgoing, but I wouldn't say like I'm a people person. Like he'll just walk up to strangers and like have a conversation and where I'm not interested in talking to anybody at all. Um, so, and I'm the introvert in the sense that like when I'm out and about like at events, I get freaking tired. Like two hours like I'm, of- Yeah, I'm very extroverted and you're very introverted. Yeah. Like when we're out, I'm definitely doing the talking to the strangers for yeah, sure. Totally. <clears throat> um, I wouldn't say like some people think introvert means you're shy and it doesn't necessarily mean you're shy. <gasps> Cause I'm not shy at all. I used to be, um, but I just, I don't need to talk to all the strangers everywhere, but he's always making comments. Oh, I like your truck, man. I like this, I like that. And I just don't, don't care to talk to anybody really. So, um, except you guys, like when you say hi to me out in public, um, I love that. So you guys are fine. <laughs> he was a playboy before you just hooked up, meaning like you and I, and then Nick has never been in a serious relationship before you. I kind of clumped those together. Um, Yes. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was definitely a playboy. He uh, had um, his little fireman picture on his. Are you pooping? <sighs> um, he had his little fireman picture up on his Bumble profile, and nothing to do with my career. I just. I would say, if anything, when I was bartending, I was a bartender before. We had that in common. Fireman, so. Uh, I think I was. Free spirit, enjoying my life. Oh, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to say. A whore! Cover your ears, Harlow. I love you. Your daddy was a whore. Uh, I gotta watch my potty mouth as she's starting to say words. Nick has siblings. No, only child. That's why I'm weird. He would not be the only child though. His mother passed away of MS. Um, she got diagnosed when you were what? Six months old. Six months, yeah. yeah Six months have... old. So he'd probably have siblings if- My parents wanted to have like seven or eight kids or something like oh that. Oh my goodness. But she got, you know, she got diagnosed with MS when I was very young and they were, didn't know if it was um, so we're looking for genetic or, um, yeah, it was just dicey, so they didn't, but I had a lot of friends and cousins, and so I turned out sort of normal. You have great child. cousins. I like your cousins. <clears throat> I do have amazing cousins. Shout out to the Winslows. Yeah. And the Kershaws. I assume it was his house at first, because someone said I moved to Nashville then here. So... I bought my house in Nashville in 2019. We met a week before I moved, and then we bought this house together in 2020. Yep. And you lived here for a while by yourself, and just a cat. That's how we became a cat person. <laughs> it was just him and Joseph, our cat, and uh, <laughs> they just talked to each other around the house. And then I finally moved back. Um, <laughs> I did talk to that cat, like, Full conversations. I was so bored. I because I am an extra, 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 extrovert. 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 Um, you need I someone to talk to. <laughs> I like. I well, I would say always had roommates, but like a lot I had roommates and like all over the firehouse. I basically have like roommates during while I'm at work. And I would come home and it would be like crickets. Like Joseph, what up, dude? How's your day, bro? <laughs> he's, he's laying up here on his cat tree. That's why we're both looking up there. And there's no dog, so it was just me and the cat. Yeah, it was... Nah. All by myself. <laughs> yeah, a lot of meowing back and forth. <laughs> um, you want to read the next one? Nope, nope, it was right there. Um. 
Um, you want to read the next one? Nope, nope, it was right there. Um, he hadn't heard of you before the dating site. Well, that's true, because that's what I was on the dating site. Bah. To find you. We're clashing right now, girl. What's up? Yeah, we were on our so first I knew your date. cousin. Oh, that's true. That was kind of random. That's something that came up. But I've never heard of you. Oh, heard of you. This is like... As in like from social media. Big deal. Yeah. yeah. No, I have no idea. Well, I was in a lot of like tattoo magazines and stuff, but there's another one on here that says he has no tattoos, but loves yours. Mm. And so he didn't, he's not, yeah, you have no tattoos. So it's not like he had any, saw me from any tattoo magazines or anything. So on our, scars. scars are cool. On our first date, um, he actually like was like laughing at me, like about what I do for a living. He's like, wait a second, like you're like an influencer. I will say I used to travel a lot and I would, a lot and i would see okay. influencers like on my travels like doing the like influencers in the wild and i would always make fun of them and it was i brought it up on our first date which maybe that was again a call to the stage like i just going to say it like i see it but i was i used to do like when they would be posing in the pools in bali i would like go do the same pose next to them and just make it super fucking awkward and like <laughs> kind of be patronizing i guess i don't get offended easily so i Definitely didn't take offense to that. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Nick wants to be involved, but you'd rather do it yourself. What is that referring to? Nick wants Probably just to be stuff, like if I'm doing something. I actually usually get him involved because he is very handy <clears throat> and he can fix anything that I can't fix, basically. I think in life, like uh, we're both very independent. We both kind of are able to like do our own thing. If this is referring to like, it being involved with like YouTube and social media, I just could, either way, I don't. I'll be a part of it, I'll entertain it, that's fine, I'm not gonna take any initiative to be a part of it, I got my own shit going on, but. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's He has thing. two tattoos. Has he has no tattoos, but he loves yours. Do you like my tattoos? Yeah, I do. I don't have like a tattoo fetish, but I do like, I like your tattoos. Yeah. I don't think he had ever dated anyone with this many tattoos before no. I had asked you that. Um, that's like all the assumptions. Okay, um, well, well, I'm gonna go over to make sure you read them all. What if there's some that were like embarrassing that you didn't want to read? I made that list, so uh -oh. if there's anything that I didn't want to answer, it's uh, still in the thing, but I'm, I'm gonna he open choose Copenhagen, book. by the way. Hashtag Copenhagen. You guys wanna see You guys wanna sponsor cans? us? <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of content and filming with um, Nick and Harlow, we are talking about finishing up our remodeling on this house. We kind of already did the biggest area here and then um, selling it and buying a piece of property and building a house in the next few years. Um, so you read this one. Nick has a huge wiener. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Right on, bro. His nickname Duh. at the station is BDN, which stands for Big okay. D I C K all Nick. Right, all right, all right. I'm not saying it in her ear. <laughs> We're starting to watch what we say. Um, I'm trying to like. Oh, you didn't read the this one. Cussing. You are a super mom. That's a fact. I didn't read that one. I actually skipped over that because she is a super mom. You didn't read it because you're being bashful, but you you well, fucking I, rock. I didn't. Thank you. I didn't want to like be like, yeah, I'm a super mom. A super good super mom. I will say though, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, we, as moms, I feel like have our days, you know, where you feel like you're crushing life. That's our uh, ice machine. Sorry. Um, where you feel like you're crushing life, and then other days where you just feel like you're not doing anything right, and you don't know what you're doing at all, and so that's why comes in handy to have a partner. Every time I think you're coming in to kiss me and I get excited, you kiss our child. <laughs> but that's why it's nice to have like such a supportive, awesome partner like you. Cause like on those days, I, if you're here, <laughs> I can pass the puck a little bit and let you help me out when I'm feeling less Definitely than stellar. Like being a <clears throat> super dad. You are a super I like dad. To, I like to take the load off. <laughs> don't laugh when I say that. I'm good. Shh, don't. Already mocking me. Mm. I, I feel like uh, like there's definitely a good balance in that. I think 
like those days when you're working and I'm, like it sucked because I got forced that day but I was like oh, I'll take her to the zoo like I want to yeah. do stuff I actually really enjoy doing stuff with her on my own and I don't I don't know I think it's like I can change the diapers I can feed her I can <laughs> I can do the stuff um real quick though so back to content with these guys so we're talking about buying a piece of land and building a house over the next few years that ice machine is so freaking loud um, so I think that would be really cool. So if you guys are interested in kind of seeing that and seeing more of our renovations in here, let us know in the comments below. Cause I'm going to check those out and I think I'm going to do it no matter what you say, but <laughs> it'd be nice to like get a little bit of inspiration. Like, okay, cool. People want to see that. So, um, yeah, thanks for submitting questions. If you have any more assumptions that we didn't answer in this video, you can drop them below and I will totally answer them. I'm an open book. There's really nothing off the table. There's pretty much nothing I won't talk about. So <laughs> you say hi to everybody. This is how she's been waving she lately. She does love the camera. Look at her. She's, she she has is no obsessed with the camera. Mm, bright light. I can tell I'm being recorded. Cool. Bye guys. We'll see you in the next video. Asta.